I was always fascinated with the um, flames on candles as a kid. And uh, one of the most amazing thing about them is actually you can observe all, all three states of matter in a single place. So you have the solid uh, wax, candle wax, which is made of uh, paraffin. It's a hydrocarbon. It's a fuel made of uh, petroleum byproduct. Um, you have the melted part of the of the wax, of course, uh, near the flame, and uh, and uh, the flame is um, combustion of, uh, I guess, uh, the gases when uh, the liquid paraffin evaporates and um, breaks into carbon and hydrogen, and the carbon, the atomic carbon burns, and so does the hydrogen. So the coolest thing about flames is also um, you can. The way the wick works is through capillary action. So you can talk with students like, how does that work? Really, we have the liquid uh, cup of wax on the bottom. And then once that wax is pulled up in the presence of a, of a spark, in the initial spark, it's going to evaporate near the, the wick. So only around the wick you actually have, and it actually looks slightly more dark, you have um, the gas phase of, um, of the wax. So another interesting thing is like I was wondering why you have blue on the bottom and the rest of the flame is sort of yellowish. Um, typical temperature of a flame is about a thousand degrees Celsius. That's why it looks kind of reddish, orange, yellowish. Um, it's a black body spectrum that gives it the yellowish color. So in the middle of the flame you have a carbon suit, diatomic carbon suit that's not completely burned and because um, it is um, doesn't have complete access to the oxygen in the air. Um, it actually glows as a black body. Uh, on the outside, on the envelope of the flame, and you can't see it very well with this cell phone camera, but um, there is a blue envelope all around it. And um, the fact that the hot air rises up, it kind of smears up the top of the blue envelope here. Um, but it's very similar to what you see on the bottom. This is where the carbon... Um, is exposed to oxygen where you have the complete combustion and where uh, so the spectrum of diatomic carbon is in the blue it emits kind of a um, spectral lines in the blue part of the visible spectrum and that's why that looks blue